<laughs> what are some of the mechanics of doing it? Like how, you know, do you do you do do you shoot things in burst mode? Like do you take and for those of you who don't know what burst mode is, it's like you 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 or is that like cheating? Is that kind of like a bullshit kind of tactic? It's there's there's no sport to like using like a burst mode. A burst mode for those of you who don't know is where you can basically take a burst of photographs all at the same time and pick out the, the ones that kind of work best. I don't know anybody who's tried to ever take photographs. It's really freaking hard. You Everything needs to be in the right kind of way or else it's going to come out blurry. Like there's it, it, there's a lot of stuff that goes into taking a photograph, in, at least manually, you know. And you bring up a good question. You know, I think um, what really did it for me was uh, shooting the Misfits in, in L.A. And this was obviously sh after shooting for, what, 20 years? Right. Um, I, I asked Glenn, hey, how do you like these photos? Because he had just approved a whole bunch of Danzig ones from a, a recent tour. And he basically said, hey, you got to learn how to take photos. You got to take a photo class. And, I, you know, sure, I, I was like a little bit shocked, but it just like put things into perspective, like, you know, I had to really work on composition. I wanted to just to shoot a lot more. So I think in 2019, that's probably the year I shot the most shows and I think that was great, great advice from Glenn, first of all, number one. And two, right. um, that prepared me to, if I ever wanted to shoot the Misfits again, for example, um, right. I'd be ready this time. And so kind of going back to your question, like, hey, like, what do you, do you ever use like burst mode or whatever? I think now that I have some more experience, I think um, I feel a lot more confident going into, let's say, a photo pit. And, you know, because usually you only get the first two or the three songs from the pit and, um, I'll always have it in burst mode for concerts, but, um, I think I can now be in a position where I can compose something, use the lighting there. And, you know, if I have to use burst mode, I will, if I don't, I can always, you know, sn you know, snap a few or maybe one photo, but let's say you're shooting the misfits, for example. Right. Um, that's well, first off, you've got to get permission, right? Like if you can even get permission. But you, you really can't because, you know, you either know Glenn or maybe, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so you got to get permission. Secondly, with uh, the Misfits and Glenn's rule is always first two songs. So, you know, with Danzig, sure, okay, I can pull that off. It's been rare where he's let me do three songs. And three songs on Danzig is to me is like an hour. I was like, perfect. So wow. two songs wow. to me is like 30 minutes. But now when you're talking Misfits, two songs – that's like a minute. I mean, that's literally like a minute because, you know, it's, wow. it's that those songs are so short. So um, like uh, the perfect example to really use burst mode. Yeah. yeah. When you're yeah. shooting, let's say like the Misfits, for example, because yeah. you want to get as many pictures as you can within that much time. <laughs> so it really depends on who you're shooting, you know, but I always like to take advantage of the lighting and I shoot Nikon. I won't shoot with anything else. I'm sure there's other great cameras, Leica, Canon, Sony's. You use primes, or are you all about the zoom? I use for con. Yeah, I use pretty much zoom uh, for the most part. You got um, it right. I mean, it's too. It would be crazy to yeah. try and use prime. You need you need crazy telephoto lenses just to just to accomplish anything. It would be crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I use. I definitely use zoom primarily for like a, a shoot, like for a concert, or even like the Misfits. Um, for the most part, I use the 24 to 70, 2.8, but definitely I always shoot Great Nikon. Lens. And, Great lens. Yeah. Cause you get, it's, it's, my, a, it's, it's a very versatile. Yeah. It's versatile. It's like, you know, you can get super wide, you can get super telephoto and it's pretty fast cause it opens up to 2.8. You know what I mean? Uh, and you're using, exactly. you're, as you said, you're shooting in concert lighting. Glenn doesn't like the flash. So it's like, you're at the mercy uh, but I mean, there's a lot of good atmospheric lighting. As a matter of fact, it's almost like it almost kind of sets you up for success a little bit if you know what you're doing and you obviously know what you're doing. Um, but that's you. You're kind of blowing my mind. I, it's something I never even considered the idea that a you have to shoot at the beginning of the show. B that a misfit song versus a Danzig song is so different in time. Plus, the, 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 the energy is going to be different. I'm sure the energy of shooting Danzig is way different than the energy of shooting the misfits for a, a whole slew of reasons. You know what I mean? Not that Glenn does. Glenn always clearly gives 150 percent in what he's doing, but it's just different energy. And therefore, maybe that also informs how you're taking 
these shots what does it feel like when you finish the show it's like you get those you shoot for the first two songs and then you can obviously enjoy the show you get to sit there and kick back and you know watch the show because you're not shooting anymore um but what does it feel like when you get home and, it, and you you have all these shots to go through what is that process like for you it depends oh <laughs> if, I, if i like if i like the shots great if i don't and i'm pretty uh pretty hard on myself and, and before i post any photos good I go through multiple runs, like like, I, and I post most of them on IG, uh, on Instagram, yeah. but uh, or even whether I show them on the Seventh House or what have you. But very, very picky, um, very hard on myself, and I think a lot of that comes from you know Glenn. But hey, it's I, and I feel that it's it's definitely helped me because I'm not a technical photographer by any means. I almost look at myself as like a punk rock photographer where. I don't want to fucking read instructions, you know. Sure, I'll listen to advice here and there, but it's hard for me to, like to sit in a class and learn but i but i do take little tidbits from talking to people whether it's editing or shooting or whatever it may be and whatever i like i use and i incorporate you know so right. take what you like um, and leave the rest like a, like a cafeteria line you know <laughs> i like this i like that i'm gonna take a little bit of this i'm gonna take a little bit of that you yeah know? I mean, whatever works you know but i think for me what's worked the most is uh the equipment i've selected uh compiled yeah. with mics with just shooting show after show before the pandemic i think i was averaging shooting maybe two to three shows a week, which for me was wow. a lot, extreme. That was a lot. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely look forward to going back to that. And not not only, you know, hopefully Glenn lets me shoot Psycho Fest, which is going to be great, but uh, I am going to be shooting the entire Psycho Fest. Um, so I look forward to, you know, shooting a lot of those bands. Being What's at Madison kind of Square. Favorite? favorite? Well, I, I do yeah. love shooting arenas. Why? Because I get fantastic lighting. Yeah. Or at least for like the main act, right? Because like- right. Uh, but like, you know, it's, it's pretty surreal when you're at Madison Square Garden, you're looking this way, there's a stage, you look this way, and, the, and especially like for that Misfit show, that show was like, so like completely sold out. So that was fantastic. Also, another great experience was shooting Glenn at Not Fest at San Bernardino in 2014, you know, just looking at the Glenn Helen Pavilion, you know, in Southern California, just completely packed. It's just, <clears throat> it's pretty surreal, you know, so yeah, I just I just like to shoot. I love to shoot.